Hello, guys. Beautiful Sunday today, isn't it? Well, I had an exciting night last night after my live stream. Actually, it started during my live stream when I was contacted by a person I had been looking for. Now, if you all rec will recall, I used to have a video out that said looking for blah, blah, blah. And I'm not going to bring her name up because of an ongoing situation we have about it. But if you all will recall it, it had uh, sunflowers with skulls um, as the thumbnail. You'll notice that that video is no longer up. That's because during my live, that person actually got a hold of me and interrupted my live to begin with. But I, I did chat with her, and then after the live, I spoke with her on Messenger. And she asked me if I was the person that had put that video up, and I said yes. Told her I was just trying to talk. Now, I don't know if you all re realize it or not, but there was no picture showing of no underage people in that video. There was one picture, but it had a smiley emoji over it. I do not, I try not to show any child's pictures in my videos. <coughs> and especially one that's not directly involved in that case. I'm not, I'm just not going to do it. I never said one word bad about this person. I did question some of the things that happened or that I had found, but I didn't say anything bad. And like I said, I'm not going to say her name because of an ongoing situation. But I'm going to tell you about last night. Um, first of all, first guys, like, subscribe, share, you know, all the good stuff. And I greatly appreciate it. And watch till the end because you're going to see the messenger conversation at the end of this video. Only problem was is she went in and deleted her part of it before I could, as I was typing the last paragraph. Okay, anyways, getting back to this. Now, the first part that you're seeing is that these are uh, snapshot, uh, snapshots taken from the Facebook page of the person. You also notice there's no identifying marks on here, so I'm hoping you'll either remember the video or you'll take my word for it. And don't worry, folks, if need be, I save everyone, I save copies of every video I have on YouTube. So I have the full, complete, unedited copy of the original video that was out there. Okay? So, if I need to prove anything to anyone, I've got it. I can prove it. If I need to put it back out on the inter on YouTube, I can do that too. Not a problem. I did lose quite a, min quite a bunch of views when I deleted that video. But, I'll explain that in a minute. But anyways, this is a copy of the notice that the rescue squad sent out when they were alerted about Summer's disappearance. Now, the... I took and, and cropped it down so that it would come in clearer so that you could read it. Um, so it's in sections right after this so that you can read what it says. You can see it's the Hawkins County Rescue Squad. Um, there's also a picture here of Summer. And you'll notice that it's was attached to the Hawkins County Rescue Squad alert that went out. You'll also notice that it was dated or posted 15 minutes after it went out. I believe that it still shows that. Yep, it sure does. On the very first one, it shows it. Okay, anyways, it also, these are some of the 
comments that were on that page on the 16th, the day after Summer went missing. They are marked with, it says 40 weeks, and at the time that I put the original video out, I looked it up, and this is how many days it was. I put it out on March 25th, and it was exactly 40 weeks since June the 16th, or June the 15th. So, to prove that these comments were made the day after Summer went gone. And what the reason I was pulling them up was because I was so surprised at people's thoughts and their where their minds were going just the day after she got gone, which was the fact that Dawn and Candace could have done something to her back then, or to say that a day after she got gone, people were already going to the thoughts that Dawn and Candace had done something to her. Now, as I was saying, these are these are just a few of the comments off that page, and this is that person's page that I was looking for. <clears throat> I did. I tried to make sure there was no identifying information on any of those pages there's a total of 70 snapshots that I or screenshots that I did of that these comments this is just a little bit of them but just to prove that I do still have the video I do still have the comments <clears throat> now I do have to say that evidently that person went in and deleted the page because I had all these individually saved in a folder and now they come up where they will not show up. Um, so I can't just remake another video with them. So I had to actually go in to the video and screenshot each and every one of these pages. That's why I didn't put all 70 of them on there. But getting back to last night. The conversation you'll notice that I have covered all identifying information on these on this messenger conversation but if you'll notice on here I texted the person and said this is not as angels they come back you'll see she deleted the message um, I gave her my phone number asked her to call me Basically, you know, just general information, trying to get her to talk. She told me to delete the video. I went in and put it in private. She knew it was private and said, no, I had to delete it. So I did go in and delete it. At one point, that the, the one where it says, hang on, that's where I was telling her to hang on. I would delete it. But anyways, this is where we get into the good stuff. Um, I, I went ahead and deleted it, and I told her I did, told her I was doing it on good faith, that she would talk with me, and then she started typing, and it was taking a long time for her to type the message, and that's when I told her, you could just call, you know, it doesn't take as long, but what she came back with was that she had already, now you have to understand, she's been making posts all over Facebook now saying basically some of the same stuff which was she's already talked to the police she's in a bad way her dad has passed away she don't need any of the bull crap blah 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 and then she proceeds to ask me to pay her for her side of the story she said she knows how it works she knows youtubers pay people and she wanted to know how much i would pay her for her side of the story well oh and and that that if I brought if I brought the uh, video back up or kept continuing to bring her name up, that her I believe it was her uncle, who was the lead detective on the Summer Wells case, was going to come after me. And not only would they come after me, but they would make sure that my YouTube channel was took off the internet. Period. And my response to her, plain and simple, was as you read in front of you, I, I don't do that. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't pay anybody. I have a friend. If you're interested, you know, I can hook you up with them. They're trustworthy. Um, I understand you're broke, just like me. I've not made a dime off this ch channel. Um, basically, I'm not going to do anything that's going to put her kid, her, her kid, or Summer, you know, in any kind of compromising position 
Um, but needless to say, by the time I got through typing this out, she was already deleting her side of the messages. So that's why I didn't get to take screenshots of, of both sides. And I did text her. She did see it. I text her and ask her to make sure that I understood it correctly that uh, her uncle was the one that she said was the lead detective on the case. And as you can see, she did see it. But my, my thing is, is I'm keeping everything covered, all information about who this page belongs to, because we really don't need to be reminded. Everybody knows who I was looking for. Um, until I, I actually have a letter that is being prepared right now by my attorney who is going to be sent to the lead detective of the case to let him know that he is being used in legal threats against a YouTuber and to verify that he is or is not a relative of this person. And if, you know, whether he is or whether he isn't, he needs to take appropriate actions as to them slinging his name and threats around towards people. Now, nothing that I have said, nothing in my video, nothing in this video has any damning information in it. It had no, it, there's no legal action that she can take, period, about anything that I've said or done. I did not say anything bad about her. I did not portray her in a bad light. I simply stated one part of it was odd to me, the simple fact that she had the information long before anybody else did and posted it on the same day that Summer went missing. And as far as the Facebook pages, they were public. So me snagging the Facebook captures, you know, screen captures of the, of the Facebook pages, that's not illegal either. Um, how she thinks that she's going to, you know, have them take my YouTube channel down and then come after me is beyond me. But until we get this all figured out, I will not put information out there about her. I'm putting information out there about me and what's going on in my life. And this right here is what's going on in my life right now. So just know that as soon as this is all settled and I get a response back from the lead detective that she so graciously threatened me with, then we'll go from there. And if nothing is said, done, can be done, nothing else, my other video will be going right back up. And this one will be staying up. But until that time, all the information is going to stay hidden. And like I said, it doesn't matter because we all know who it is. So until uh, we get this all straightened out, guys, not that you all needed to know about this, but I found it very interesting that someone that close to the case is that upset about their Facebook page just being shown. So I'm wondering, is there something in the Facebook pages that we don't need to know about? I didn't read over them extremely well, but I guarantee you I'll be going over them with a the fine tooth comb now. And I may just take and send that video that I did to TBI myself and have them go over it. So don't forget to pray for the kids, guys. And if whoever, you know, disagrees with me or the actions that I'm taking, I'm sorry, but we're talking about me now. We're talking about me, my life, my wherewithal to support myself. And when I start having to take videos down just on the off chance that somebody might consume me over them, something's haywire, especially when there's nothing on the video that's bad. But I'm not going to take a chance on it. So we'll wait. And when I find out that it's bullcrap, 
I may take legal actions myself 